Hello people, I am Javi Kawai, joined by Char Kirk. Hello. We're looking at the brand new trailer for Kalank, starring Varun Dewan, Sanjay Dutt, Aditya Roy Kapoor, Alia Bhatt, Sanakshi Sinha, and Madhuri Dixit. This is written and directed by Abhishek Varman. So, the last trailer got 40 million views. Without a doubt, this is a very highly anticipated film, and I remember we liked the last trailer quite a bit. Yeah. So, very much looking forward to this one. Let's check it out. Symbolism. Oh my god! I got you, boo. Um, <laughs> but my other boo's got me. Um, oh no! Yeah, that is quite epic. Um, oh my god, how epic is that? I'm like, yeah. I am so into this. I love this, like, forbidden romance story. And just watching it to the end of that trailer, I'm already like, I'm almost on the verge of tears. <laughs> this is totally my type of movie. Yeah, the love triangle thing is, uh, I mean, that's the heart of the film, right? Yeah. And then all around that is the... The class the, struggle. The epic war happening around yeah. it. This reminds me a little bit of Troy in a way. It all started out with an, a love affair, and that's where, like... A lot of things start out with a love affair. Oh, sure. It kind of I mean, gives me the sense of, like, a lot of period dramas from back in the day where this was a very typical storyline. Before, marriage was not generally about love. Marriage was alliances. Marriage was, you know, what you were supposed to do with who your parents picked for you. Affairs were the only space where you could actually have a relationship relationship that was a love relationship. I'm a little bit confused as to where Sunakshi Sinha fits in all of this. I'm thinking that maybe she and Dev, played by Aditya Roy Kapoor, I think she is his lover or they have some sort of relationship but they can't be married or something. I really like Sanjay Dutt's look now. Before I was unsure about it, that was one of my only negative critiques in the last yeah. reaction. Because it just looked like Sanjay Dutt, like just himself. But with the costuming and everything yeah. and seeing more of a little bit more of his performance and whatnot. I'm like, oh, it actually fits better than I had initially anticipated. When I'm watching it, it feels like I'm watching one big art piece. Yeah, it looks like theater to me. With all of the the set pieces, just the sheer amount of people. It's like what you might see in a Broadway musical, but on a much grander scale, well, just in terms of like how many people are in shock. For me, it has the best parts of Cirque du Soleil. In terms of the uniformity, in terms of the way everything is kind of structured and yeah. the way you see people, it's just very beautiful. We watched a music video from this, which is on our Patreon, right? Yes. That was one of the things that stood out to me was just the beautiful framing in the movie. Yes. It's, it's one of those things where you can tell that the director 
really took a lot of time to think about exactly how he wanted things, just like a painting. It's the aesthetic of it is very specific. Nothing here was just kind of winged. It was yeah. like, like all of these things. It's him and his cinematographer worked together to create beautiful shots every single frame. And even that very last scene that they show where, you know, she's trying to be with the person she loves or the person she thinks she loves and she's reaching out her hand to him and then she slips and then she's held by the other person who's her husband and then you see that, you know, like you said, it was really symbolic of her being torn in two directions. That is just so deliberate and I feel like every shot in this movie we're gonna see it being so thoughtfully and artfully constructed. There is an Indian filmmaker that you guys might not have heard of. His name is Tarsum. And one of my favorite films is one that he made called The Fall. This has that kind of feeling like, if you guys are into this kind of framing and whatnot, you should ju definitely check out The Fall. I just remember like the feeling of watching it and looking at the aesthetic of it. It's right. just very, very beautiful for him. He also did a movie with Jennifer Lopez called The Cell. Oh, The Cell, okay. Yeah. I'm very much into that, like that kind of passionate filmmaking. I'm hoping that when you get there, the substance matches the art. Right, you yeah. Know? Because yeah. So, sometimes you, you see a beautiful trailer, like, wow, that's amazing. And you get to the movie, and you're like, wow, that's, it was just beautiful. It, yeah. And I, I'm really hoping that the emotional content here is, is strong. And it, I trust Elia Bot's judgment. Everything I've seen of hers so far usually has at least a little bit of substance to it so that I can get invested emotionally. I think there will be substance as well because I'm getting this feeling of, you know, different layers to the relationships, like whether it's the relationship between uh, Aditya Roy Kapoor and Sonakshi Sinha, and then of course you've got Alia Bhatt and um, Aditya Roy Kapoor and Varunda Wan, that love triangle. And then I feel like Madhuri Dixit also has a story as well. Like maybe she did something in her past or she had an, an illicit affair as well. And now everything is coming around full circle set against this like tumultuous, well, beautiful backdrop. I mean, yeah, it's either that or she's just traditional and is looking at the consequences that in ensue when you don't follow the rules. There was a film I'm thinking of where this, uh, I can't remember the name of it for the life of me, but there's a film I'm thinking of where this woman wants to marry this guy who is not wealthy and her mom takes her to this construction site and her mom shows her the construction worker that would have been her husband. Had oh. she but the idea being from that film was the mom followed the tr traditional route and she wasn't really happy in the end. And so she told her daughter to follow her heart. Right. And here, she, uh, Ali Abbat is, you know, pulled between, you know, what her heart wants, and she's trying to follow it. And the mom just followed tradition is what it looks like to me. So I'm feeling yeah. the opposite thing of you. I was just so wrapped up in the epicness of the story and the epic romance. And that music, right. it got me from the start. This shot right, right here, for some reason, reminds me of Aladdin. Mm, yeah, of, of he's all like, things. come on, princess. Do you trust me? Do you trust me? Jump yeah. on my magic carpet. That is sort of the story, though, isn't it? Where you have this guy who's, he's obviously not the wealthy class type, right? And I think he's also a Muslim. Okay, well, yeah. then you got an extra so layer. So you got an extra layer. Right? He's the one who she's not supposed to be with, but she falls in love with him anyway. But I think there's also that feeling of excitement as well, because, you know, she's obviously from a wealthy family. She's bored in her marriage. She's, you know, not experiencing love in her marriage. And there's this glimmer of excitement from this bad boy. She's like, oh, I'm a high class lady just slumming it. Oh, isn't it fun? It's a classic story. Yeah, it's closer to Titanic than Aladdin. Yeah. In that regard. In that regard, yeah. I mean, you might be right about Madhuri Dixit, actually. I mean, I don't know. It could go either way. She's certainly got a lot of regret. She, well, she certainly has something that in her, in her past experience that she is thinking about when she says that, yeah. is what it looks like. This is all speculation. This shot right here on the stairs, for some reason this reminds me of SRK. Devdas? And Devdas, yeah. Well, this whole trailer, this whole movie definitely has those Devdas tones. The train thing is definitely different though, isn't it? I feel like the train is, is a very traditional thing in Bollywood, where you have one lover on the train and the other is like going, kind of going after them. Right. But they did a spin on it, where someone is on the train with them already. Right. Well, that's the whole story, isn't it? No, I know it's the whole story, but like that specific trope 
is is just kind of turned on its head because of that. I think that's cool to to take a traditional shot and turn it on its head. It's kind of like breaking the rules. Like if you associate certain, a certain kind of thing happening all the time in a movie, and then they flip it in a way that you don't expect, that's real. That's really cool. That's really surprising. What I like as well that I find just so compelling is that in the beginning we kind of look at. Aditya Roy Kapoor's character and we're kind of like, oh, like maybe he's not that nice. He doesn't seem very loving or anything towards Ali Abad. But then just by having that one scene on the train, you're like, oh, what happened? Is he actually a really nice guy? Like he looks like he genuinely cares for her. And so you feel her struggle right there. Who do I well, choose? You... They're both so handsome. Okay, so I think I'm starting to understand this better. So what it seems to me is he's in this relationship as, like you said, a business arrangement. Yeah, right? it's it's duty, oh, but, it's but family. He doesn't actually love Ali Abad, like you're saying. Yes. He loves Sunakshi Sinha. Sin yes. Yes. And but he's going to keep this business arrangement for appearances and whatnot, for yes. whatever the external affairs you should. are. You have to. Right. Yeah. But Ali Abad doesn't care about any of that. Is no. what it looks yeah. like. She's, she's like through all this. She's this impetuous young woman. She may just be a little bit bored in her life, in her like dull, rich life, and in comes well, either, irres Varun Dewan. Irrespective like, of her boredom hey. or, or whatever, it's it seems to me that the most important thing for her... <laughs> I can't even breathe. I don't even know what happened there. I lost my breath for a moment because Ali Abad's photo is in front of me. So beautiful. You keep emphasizing this boredom factor. I think you're projecting a lot from Titanic. Maybe. I, irrespective of that, that's not the heart of it. The heart of it is that what she desires deep down is someone who loves her and respects her and cherishes yeah. her. And this guy is willing to do that. And so screw all this business arrangement stuff. Like this person actually cares about my... Yeah. This stuff inside me. Yeah. My brain. I mean, it also helps that she's super pretty. Now I feel like I understand the story. Yeah, it's a classic, classic love story. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. Do let us know your thoughts on our thoughts and your thoughts on the trailer in the comments below. Be honest, be verbose. Are you excited? What are you excited for? What are you not excited for? Do check out Char Kirk on the social media. And also check out Jabby Quay if you feel like doing that. Ha <laughs> ha. There's some fun photos and video clips from my life, my personal experiences of, of me looking for love as well. Picking up everybody. I'm looking for love in all the wrong places. <laughs> There's just a lot of photos of me picking up people. Yeah. That's what my uh, Instagram is filled with. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, vlogs, interviews. I am Jabby Kuwait. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.